Hi. So today what we're going to talk about is how to build a normal curve with mu and sigma. This is going to be as simple as we can. Mu, obviously the Greek letter mu, is what we use for the average, or in this case the population average, as opposed to the sample average. But just bear with me. And then we have sigma, which is going to be our calculation for the standard deviation, again, of the population. Um, a normal curve is the frequency curve, but a continuous frequency curve, so it looks like a line, that describes how much of anything we have. And so maybe we have uh, uh, shoe sizes that are shoe sizes in the store that are five shoe sizes, and we have four or five shoe sizes, and we have sixes, and then we have sevens, and so on and so on and so on. And so all of that is great. Where's my eraser? All of that is great. Uh, and we have an idea of where they are, but we want to know how far away these things are from each other. So let's put that back. Here's our line. When we have a normal curve and we have mu and sigma, we'll have uh, mu dead in the middle of this symmetrical uh, curve where 50% of the population is on the left hand side and 50% of the population is on the right hand side. Okay, so mu divides it down the middle in a perfectly normal curve. This should also be the mode and it should also be the median. Okay, not something we're really going to worry about today, but just things to keep in mind. Let's get rid of all that. Get back to work. Um, the standard deviation tells me how far a particular segment of the population is. So sigma, two sigmas, three sigmas. And we're, that's in terms of distance, right? Where each one of these is one sigma away. Think about how far away it is. And then on the other side, we go negative the same way. Negative one sigma, negative two sigma, negative three sigma, where each one of these is sigma sigma away from each other and it kind of gives us an idea of where we are the great thing about these guys is that we can tell how much population exists in a particular place for example between plus and minus one sigma we have 68 percent of the population between let me change colors here between plus and minus two sigmas of the population all the way out to here we have about 95% of the population. And when we do three sigmas, plus or minus three sigmas, anybody ever heard of six sigma or six sigma calculation? And we include it all the way out to there, we have about 99%, 99.5% of the population, more or less. Um, so let's build one out from scratch. This is something you might see on an assignment. If mu is equal to 100 and sigma is equal to 10, can you draw a normal curve? Well, right off the bat, I know that my mean is 100. So mu is right in the middle. This is mu. And I'm going to draw my curve. Whoa. And I'm going to draw my curve so that it's fat in the middle and it to the outside. Uh, one sigma then, can I do this in yellow, is going to be here, and I'm going to take 100, 100 plus 10, and it's 110. So this is one sigma away to the right, 110, this is sigma, 120, this is two sigmas, 130 is three sigmas. In each case, all I'm doing is adding 10, adding 10, adding 10. What is sigma? Sigma is 10. Very easy. Negative 1 sigma is 100 minus, right? So minus 10 puts me at 90. Negative 2 sigma puts me at 80. Minus 10. Minus 10 again to get to negative 3 sigma is 70. And so this is important because it tells us where those lines are. So if we're talking about I don't know what's near 100. If we're talking about grades or, I don't know, ACT scores, whatever it is you're talking about, and we say, look, I know that most students score between 90 and 110. Well, how many of that is there? There are 68% of all test takers will score between 90 and 110, which is 
you know, not a great example. A good example here would might be a uh, uh, pulse or blood pressure, right? This might be a good example for blood pressure. Uh, if I want to know how, I want to know how far away I need to build my blood pressure cuff to make sure that I'm continuing to do, let me choose a different color here, 99% uh, of the population. Well, that's going to be between three sigma and three sigma for 99%. What does that mean? It means I've got to build it between 70 and 130. One more quick example. If mu is equal to 10 and sigma is equal to 1.5, let's draw this one. Line 10 in the middle, normal curve around the outside, 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma to the right, 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma to the left. This would be 11.5, this would be 13, this is 14.5. Going the other way, this is 8.5, this is 7, and this would be 6, nope, 5.5. 3 sigma, negative 3 sigma, positive 3 sigma. Hope that helps.